Hello everyone, welcome to the first session of uh, our ELK series. So this is a, this is the agenda of uh, of the session. We will be discussing about overview on log monitoring and related tools, ELK stack overview and different architecture diagrams of ELK stack. So log monitoring is one of the important activity which is carried by the production support team uh, so that uh, we can find the uh, log or we can find the log related to exception or error and just to make sure that uh, it doesn't uh, impact the functionality of the application doesn't impact the performance of the application if uh, we find like uh, it, it can cause a problem then we need to we we need to make sure that it is uh, being worked upon immediately to avoid any impact on the uh, business but this log monitoring is very time consuming process if it is not done in a proper way like uh, for especially for the larger you know large scale application where more than 15 plus servers are running and sometimes more than 20 or 30 plus server are running so it is very difficult to you know log into each and every server and check the log and scan the log uh, to find out the errors so for that uh, we have uh, uh, many log mon you know log rela log monitoring related tools available in the market which help us to make this process efficiently and also you know these tools are having some extra feature like uh, for example suppose particular error is uh, if error rate is more than 0.5 percent then it, it it triggers a email to the you know stakeholders and consent team needs to check it immediately so these kind of features can you know help us uh, can help us any team like uh, just to avoid impact on the business before it's uh, so basically beforehand uh, the only thing the purpose main purpose is log monitoring like uh, before it creates create a problem to the business better to catch in advance or better to catch beforehand so this is the purpose and, uh, and that's why it, it needs to be done on daily basis also uh, how it is helping uh, uh, production support team like uh, production support team don't have to log in into each and every server uh, like uh, they can just uh, with this tool they can have uh, view of all the logs of all the app servers at one place and you know just query it like i want to query you know i want to see the log of particular server there are many options available like uh, i have worked on the data doc so we have a different different phase, you know filters option where we can you know select the the particular server so these kind of uh, uh, uh you know things helps us to make the this log monitor process efficiently and it is also important so i think that's uh, pretty much on this log monitoring part uh, let's move on to next the tools uh, which can be used for this activity so there are many tools available in the market but i have listed down a few of them which are widely used and uh, I myself person used a few tools uh, I am highlighting here like in Datadog, Splunk, ELK stack so these are the good tools and uh, and uh, you know uh, share good features but uh, Datadog is a paid one and Splunk also with the extra feature and ELK we can create uh, this and uh, based, it is based on the you know open source component and can create a application which can monitor the log apart from these three uh, we have uh, sumo logic we have sim, you know sematex these are the widely used tool as well apart from this there are many tools available in the market based on the requirement or the uh, the you know whatever the requirement we have or solve the cost factor involved then we can choose and decide which one we need to use for the our application elk stack or elk data pipeline it is combination of three things elastic search logistics kivana and these three components uh, we uh, help us to create an application which can monitor the application log infrastructure itself can collect the different uh, metrics like cpu time like you know memory usage etc 
so uh, elastic search elastic search it is basically it is an enterprise search engine and it helps us to you know store the log data in the form of index which can uh, we read by the visualization tool log test so log test is uh, the data processor and it transform the data and basically it also apply the configured filter then send the data to the log test sometimes log test can also be used as a data shipper or data collector uh, to get the data from the uh, log file next is the kivana so kivana is the visualization tool uh, which read the data from elastic search and uh, show the data in the interface and in the in the kivana we have different option to create an graphs chart we can create a dashboard so so that we can um, monitor the log in a very efficient way in elastic search, we can also write uh, queries to filter the to perform some filtering you know like we want to see only the the log which are uh, of uh, info level li like that so let's move on to uh, next so file weed uh, file weed is also is also used with elk stack as a data shipper or data collector and uh, the important thing about is the it can it can collect the data uh, from the remote location like uh, like you know file bit is installed in different system and uh, log file is present in the different system so it can uh, you know collect that uh, data uh, from that log file also and also so it takes the you know takes the data from log file and send it to the log stash also sometimes in many it might possible you know in many scenario it might possible that we don't need a, a data parser so oh, we just want to send the data from you know log, log file data to directly to the uh, basically elastic search so in those cases we can also uh, use file uh, file file weed and uh, so file weed just you know directly send the data from log file to data log file to elastic search so it is not necessary to send the data to uh, log test from file bit and also important file bit is a lightweight so it does not consume that much of uh, uh, system resource like cpu or memory in comparison to log stash when uh, log stash is used as a data shipper so log stash uh, can also be used as a data shipper but uh, it has some limitation like it needs to be present in the same system uh, like uh, same system where the files are present uh, log files are present so so this that is the limitation it is not it is not possible to use log stash when file file log file is present remotely but uh, we can use the file bit to scan the uh, file which is present uh, in different system or in in the remote location so that is the uh, basically advantage of file bit over log stash so let's uh, move on to so here i have also highlighted few uh, uh, other beats like uh, we have seen the file bit uh, to scan the log file but there are other beats are also available which can mm, used for different different purpose although we will not be using these uh, beats in our you know series but uh, uh, just highlight so that uh, somewhere if required then we will have in a mind that we these kind of views also present available or we can uh, or we can use these uh, you know as per our requirement so like packet beat uh, to collect the network related data metric beat to collect the you know like you know system system health server health like uh, cpu uses uh, memory consumption these kind of data audit beat to uh, collect the order audit history of the user hard beat to check uh, the uptime of the service like uh, windows uh, log beat so for the windows event log related event and function uh, it is a serverless shipper for cloud data so it can be used with obviously uh, aw lambda and these kind of serverless uh, services so let's uh, move on to next so this is the uh, the architecture style of we can architecture diagram i would say and uh, so here 
this is the simplest one and here you can see these are the source of file so this it could be different different file or it could be a single file uh, like we have a four server and uh, we can get the file from all four servers and uh, log test can be used for that data shipper as well as a data parser here we are not using the file bit here since uh, uh, so this is the simplest uh, data pipeline we can create and it takes the data it parse the data send the data in the form of json to the elastic search elastic search then uh, is integrated with the kivana and kivana get the data from elastic search and so in the form of graphs chart or directly so in the form of text so this is the very uh, basic uh, diagram of uh, uh, the application next so this is the another diagram uh, the same log files here just we are using the file width so uh, we can use the file width as a data shipper and it send the data as an event to the log test and log test parse that event filter, put the filter if, if configured then send the data to the uh, elastic chairs and the same kivana will get the data from elastic chairs for the display purpose and uh, so this is the widely used uh, architecture uh, style i mean this kind of uh, i have also seen this in a production environment the next is the uh, although you will see the most of the companies same except this kafka so kafka and apache kafka it is a you know product from apache and apache kafka apache mq rabbit mq so these are the uh, there are many places where we can use these as a buffer message buffer uh, sometimes it happens like uh, the the you know file bit is sending the data at very fast you know very fast rate and it is very difficult for the logistic to process that so to avoid any kind of congestion on the logistic side uh, it is advisable or we can use it like uh, the buffer which can hold the message and then it can take log test can take the message from that uh, buffer uh, and then process it transform it and then send to it to the same elastic server for the storage and then kivana can get the data and visualize it so here the file width is same the only is thing is the buffer the message buffer uh, where kafka is one of the best uh, you know event handling uh, system open source event handling system which having the very high input output rate so it can uh, handle it very nicely so this is the uh, few architecture diagram i have shown here uh, so that we can understand better how it uh, works uh, what is the flow of the data so this is the end of the session thanks for watching please let me know and for any queries for any concern also the feedback in the comment section i will have a look and also make sure that uh, I work upon those feedbacks and can present or put the details in better way in, in coming videos. See you in the next video. Thanks.